Hi, this is Mrs. Nelson. We're looking at illustrative math for 7th grade. This is Unit 5, Lesson 10, Multiply. The objective states, I can solve problems that involve multiplying rational numbers. We're looking at activity 10.2, matching expressions. Match expressions that are equal to each other. If we think back to the Lesson 9 summary, we learned that multiplying two positive numbers together would result in a positive number. We also learned that multiplying two negative numbers together would result in a positive number. If we multiply a positive number times a negative number, our uh, product will be negative. And if we multiply a negative number times a positive number, our product will be negative. So I'm going to use that to, to help me uh, determine before I get started which of these uh, multiplication problems are going to have positive products or negative products. So I'm just going to go through that and mark those here. So I have a negative times a positive, so that's a negative outcome. Negative times a positive will be a negative solution. Positive times positive will be positive. I've got three negatives here. So I have a negative times a negative. Well, I see that a negative times a negative is a positive. But then if I take that negative number and I multiply, or excuse me, if I take that positive number and multiply it by a negative number, my end result will be a negative number. So three negative numbers multiplied together gives me a negative outcome. We have a negative times a negative, which I know is a positive, that I would multiply by a positive would also give me a positive outcome. Negative times a negative is positive. Positive times negative times negative. Again, these two together, these two negatives, are going to be a positive result. So when I multiply it by positive 1, I'll still have a positive number. I have two negatives being multiplied together. That's going to be a positive solution. A negative times a positive is a negative. Negative times negative is positive. Negative times positive is negative. Positive times negative is negative. Negative times positive is negative. Again, I have three sets of negative numbers, so that's going to result in a, a negative outcome. This will be positive. This will be a negative times a negative, which is a positive. And then I'm going to multiply that positive by another positive, so this will be a positive outcome. Positive and negative. So now that I know which are going to be positive and which are going to be negative, now I just need to look to see which of them are going to calculate to create the same positive or same negative product. I'm just going to start at random with 1 times 15. 1 times 15 is going to result in positive 15 as my solution. As I scan the other positive um, values, I'm going to look to see if uh, any others will also multiply to be 15. I look right here in the first row, third excuse me, first column, third row, I have negative 3 times negative 5. That's going to be the same thing as 3 times 5, which is 15, which is multiplied by 1. That would be a positive 15 as well. So we've got a match. I'm going to keep scanning. And uh, another option would be the last row, second column. Negative 3 times negative 5 is going to give me a positive 15 as a result. And then to find the rest of my matches, I would just follow the same process. Um, now that I've identified which will be positive and negative, it'll go a little bit faster. Again, our objective was I can solve problems that involve multiplying rational numbers. And I referenced the Lesson 9 lesson summary about which would be positive outcomes and which would be negative outcomes. Thanks for watching. Thank you.